Hey, it's Free Falcon. Today we're going to be covering a few things. We're going to primarily be looking at what we're wanting to do during the King's Caprice. So the obvious thing is we just want to make sure that we're inside of our guild, that we're finishing up the mission here. Uh, and if you're in a really good guild, you could probably keep pushing to the top 10 and get some additional benefits, but I feel like that's pretty hard and it's not super, super beneficial. Uh, you get a, a permanent trophy decoration, which is not bad, but it's nothing that's going to really impact the game. But the big choice to make is getting in here and selecting the right blueprints. So it matters on your playstyle. And I think there's two primary things that you want to look at doing. So the strategy that I use is that I like to pick up these lowest cost ones that I can in order to build up easy, as easy as possible my ascensions. So I want all of my ascensions to be at 51. So at 51, that is where bypassed it by a lot. Okay, the increased surcharge value for all items plus one. And at 45, we get 5% on the item itself. So we're really trying to focus in on getting as many of these to 51 as possible. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14. So I've got 14 at 51 or above. So that means I'm getting 14% bonus to all of my surcharging. Now, if the goal is to get all of these eventually up there. And it's hard to do because the cost starts going up significantly whenever you get into these whenever you get into the higher levels. So you can see it, oops, I didn't mean to craft those, I'll throw in a few of those anyways. But if we look here, so I don't have any level ones, but it starts at five and it goes up. So we have some here at four ascension. So we're at 15. So it's pretty easy to fill these in to get more. So you want to pick up like the four, five, six stuff a lot as much as you can because it's only going to be like 15. By the time you get to six, it's 25, which isn't bad, but say you're picking up tier 11 items, you're up at 60. If you're picking tier 13, you're at 100 ascensions. So picking up these items aren't going to help you get these points. A lot faster so you can focus in on the low-end ones now where the high-end ones may count is if it's the best in slot type item and you can craft those and get a lot of money um, so if it's not really a best in slot I would probably avoid getting these higher tier ones especially around like the 11 12 mark I feel like those are just the ones that cost a lot of ascensions to get and you're not really getting the full value for crafting and ironically a lot of the four through seven purples and legendaries go for more than like the 10 10 through 12. so it's kind of weird so getting gems you're actually probably more likely to do better crafting these lower ones to resell gem wise than even the higher ones. So going back in here, just going to click these through real quick and we'll just throw in whatever we can fit here. All right, so going back in here, I can do the Cloudwalker. 
So it is a dagger. And then there's the rune blade, which is a sword. So if I'm going to look at my ascensions, I have my sword. And then I have my dagger already at 51. So I'm not probably going to pick these up right now. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to wait for these to re-roll. So in 14 hours, so tomorrow morning, these will be refilled. And hopefully it's going to be an item that I need into there. Now if I had enough, had enough of these that I could pick this up and still have enough for a future one, I would go ahead and do that. But I only have enough left to do one more purchase at a six or seven or below. So I'm just going to YOLO it. And hopefully I flip one that is in a one that I need. So that way when I go to complete those, it just goes a lot quicker. Bam. So that is my overview for this one. Have a good one.